Hi everyone, my name is Adarsh Mishra and you are watching Youth Nation Coders. So today we are going to solve a new problem in the section of Codechef Beginner Problem Set. So here we are going to solve this question sum of digits and its problem code is FLOW006. So you can search that code by clicking here and then going through search problem by tax. So let's go and let's look at what this question is all about. And I don't know why cursor is not working. Well, there is some abnormal activity going on. You are given an integer n. Write a program to calculate the sum of all the digits of n. Okay, so here we have to calculate the sum of digits of a particular number which will be given by user. The first line contains integer t, the total number of test cases, the total number of queries, and then following by t, each line will contain integer n and then we have to calculate the sum of digit of that particular integer and then we have to display that into a new line so here are these constraints that the value of t will be test cases will be from 1 to 1000 and the value of number will be in a range of 1 to 1 10 hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh okay no problem so let's look at our first input the value is 3 means a uh, user is going to write three more numbers here the query first query will be 1 2 3 4 5 then second will be 3 1 2 0 3 third will be 2 1 2 3 and we are getting output as 59 and 8 so for 1 2 5 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 this results in 15 so first of all we have to take test case as an input and then according to that we have to take further more input so we will write here test is equal to integer value we have to take input then I will tell you that how can we use while loop to take multiple inputs like here while our value of test is greater than 0 then what we have to do we have to take a input so let's store that value integer value in the variable num and here oops sorry type mistake so num is equal to int input and then what we have to do we have to calculate sum of digits so what we are trying to do here we will send this number to this function sum of digit a particular number and then this function will do all the work like calculating sum of digit and then printing that sum of digit and then it will take input so what after that like this loop is going till the condition that test is greater than 0 so we have to reduce the value of test also test minus is equal to 1 so let's go here like sum of digit n ok so we have to calculate sum of digit so first of all we have to add all those numbers then we will write here add is equal to 0 then what we are going to do uh, let's name this variable like s okay and uh, here we are going to take sum of digits so how can we take sum of digit we have to write a loop like while my number is greater than 0 then what we have to do we have to extract the last digit from our number and we have to store that last digit of a number into any variable like dig so we have made a variable dig like digit and we have to extract the last digit so how can we extract the last digit from any number by taking the modulus of that number by 10 so 10 mod uh, sorry n mod 10 so we will get the last value and it will be stored in dig dig and what we have to do we have got one digit and we have to add that digit into s so s equal to s plus dig you can also write s equal to s plus dig as s plus equal to dig okay then what we have to do like for the first time our number will be 1 2 3 so here the value of s is equal to 0 our 1 2 3 is greater than 0 okay so digit equal to 1 2 3 mod 10 so the value of digit will be 3 and s plus equal to dig so it means the value of s is now 3 okay and uh, then for this particular value 1 2 3 we have to remove this 3 because the work of 3 is over we have got 
3 and then we have add that 3 into our variable s so now we have to take 2 as input then how can we reduce this number from 3 digit to 2 digit we have to divide this number by 10 this time while i was taking the last digit i was trying to dividing it means we have to use this slash operator here like here i was also dividing but it was modulus this modulus was giving us the remainder and that remainder was the last digit so now we, what we have to do we have to convert this 123 into 12 like 12 so we will write here n the value of n will be n divided by 10 so now 123 will become 12 then 12 is greater than 0 yes and digit is equal to 12 mod 10 so now digit will contain the last digit 2 and s plus equal to digit we have to add then this 2 to the value of 3 then it will get it will become 5 and n is equal to n divided by 10 means now this 12 is converted into 1 because we are dividing that number then we will check whether 1 is greater than 0 yes so digit equal to 1 mod 10 so we will get remainder 1 and s plus equal to digit then s the value of s is 5 and 5 plus 1 is 6 so now the value of s will be 6 and n is equal to n by 10 so now the value will be converted from 1 to 0 so if 0 is greater than 0 the condition is false means we have got our sum of digit sum of digit of 1 2 3 will be 6 and now we have stored that 6 into the variable s and then we have to print that variable print s so now i think everything is fine and let's check whether this code is working or not so we have to write this thing sum of digits sum of digits okay we have to save that in desktop code chef section here we have five dot sum of digit and save so let's see so what we have to give as an input like here we have these numbers let's copy them from code chef to here so we are getting 15 9 and 8 which are absolutely correct so this is the method by which we can calculate sum of digits well in python this is not the only method like this method is looking little bit tedious so what we can do like everybody knows that if we have got this number as 1 2 3 then we can convert this number from integer to string by using str so it will convert into this 1 2 3 then we can traverse this string like we can iterate this string so let's try this code s equal to convert this integer value of n into a string and store that value in s then we are going to start a loop in that string so first of all the value of i will be 1 then value of i will be 2 then value of i will be 3 so for the very first iteration the value of i will be 1 so what we have to do we have to write here a result like this time we are taking result as 0 we will store all the sum of digit into result then we will write the result is equal to value of result plus value of i but here we can't write value of i because the result is integer and i is a string it is a character and we can't add an integer to character then we have to convert this character i into integer by using typecasting and then we can store that into a result and now this loop will work fine and after that we will get the value of the result so now if i used to write this thing then i will get the exact same output which i was getting by earlier method so let's see here 15 9 and 8 so this code is working fine so if you have any doubt regarding to this question then you can ask me in comment section or like you have any doubt related to anything even any subject then you can ask me i will try to resolve those issues as soon as possible click on these videos right here and be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go thanks for watching and i'll see you next time